Welcome to Reykjavik Grapevine's newscast. My name is Valur Grettisson. I'm a coach editor-in-chief at Reykjavik Grapevine. No Polly with me today because we are at Árbæjar Sub. It's a wonderful museum and we'll tell you, you'll find out why we're here a little bit later, but it's a secret right now. So I'm going to go through all the news, of course, but first uh, I have to tell you, of course, about the walking tours with me, Polly and Bjartmar. We have now extended this walking tour. It's been a smash hit. A lot of people want to meet us, and we want to meet you also. So uh, we, want, we, have, we have the states like until indefinite, uh, until nobody wants to listen to us anymore. Now it goes. Uh, and also, of course, if you want, subscribe. If not, don't subscribe. You know how this goes. So we're going to go with a lot, uh, through a lot of news, uh, and it's, it's interesting today. So let's go. First off, there is elections on Saturday. Uh, the elections in Iceland have not been very, what would you say, lively. Uh, there are not many posters up there. Uh, people are, like, parties are tr using the, like, these uh, Facebook, of course, much, much more like social media campaigns and so on. It's the newest way to get anyone and reach anyone. And the thing is that uh, we have now, what, nine or ten parties that are uh, running. Uh, not all of them, uh, the, the, like the unique elements of it all is basically that all of them, except one, are actually polling with members of the parliament. This is interesting because, uh, the, like, uh, the, possibly like the, the biggest news is that there, we have now a socialist party in Iceland. We haven't had socialist party in Iceland for decades. Uh, this is, of course, uh, not like... The old school socialists, this is just uh, the, the new modern, even a little bit American socialist, uh, like Alex, in, uh, uh, Cort what was her name? Alex Alexandra de Cortes, Cortes, something like that, or, 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 uh, or Bernie. It's going to be on Saturday, and if you actually are living in Iceland and you can vote, uh, and if you're per perhaps an immigrant, uh, you can always do this uh, like in Smáralind. This is the shopping mall. You can do this beforehand, uh, and it is, it's quite convenient if you want to do that. And uh, a lot of Icelanders, like we have no never had such a participate before the elections. It's the similar thing that happened, for example, in the US. But the difference is that nobody's saying like uh, that anyone is stealing the vote or it's a, it's a sham or anything. <laughs> it's just, it is what it is. So. Of course, this is a, a museum, uh, and there are a lot of people that come here. It's no problem. You can come here if you want. So, uh, also, uh, the, the elections, people think that it will be, like, not that newsy. Uh, there are three parties in coalition. We have the Progressive Party, uh, the Left Greens, uh, like... Uh, yeah, the left greens, like, uh, the, 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 which they also have the, the prime minister, which is Katrin Jakobsdóttir, and then they are the independence party. These parties have been ruling the last four years, and they've been doing a pretty good job, at least when it comes to the COVID, uh, the COVID uh, response in, in general. Uh, nobody is, is fighting that. Uh, but, of course, uh, other parties, they, they state the case that there are, like... Uh, they, they, they could do better, <laughs> let's just say that. I mean, when is it not like that? Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see how these elections goes. Also because there's new uh, parties are going into the, parliament, into the parliament and they're all polling with MPs. This means that like, uh, like small differences, like small things with the smaller parties can actually uh, change a lot for the bigger parties. That means that, for example, the, the coalition won't get the, the majority that, that they need and they would even have to add the fourth party to the to the party. <laughs> so uh, we need to see how that goes. Uh, and I mean, uh, in Iceland, we are like, we are very liberal. It's, it's like at the same time, this is, there is no like, like extreme party going on or, or anything. This is uh, pretty common sense stuff that is going on right now. And we don't have like, uh, like extremity about COVID, uh, races, racism or anything like that, which is, uh, it's, it's, it's actually quite nice not to have this as aggressive as it can be. So, uh, COVID still around. Uh, we had 46 cases yesterday. Uh, this is uh, 
this is not good. We haven't had so, so many cases since the beginning of September. We were down to 15, and like we were between 20 and 30, but it, it is no indication that anything is going up. Uh, well over 90% of, of Icelanders are vaccinated or have had the, the virus before, and they therefore have the PCR. Uh, and meaning that we are, well, like now not many are thinking about COVID right now. It is absolutely, it's kind of over. Uh, also, of course, the gathering restriction is now 500, but you can have like up to 1,500 people together as long as you use these rapid tests uh, that they, they, are, they are doing right now. So there are some things about that. And there is, there is no volcano at Askja, any, like at, at, yet at least. There is, of course, volcano at Fagradarsfjall. That's like loud and, and clear and like very nice. Uh, it's like, I'm not sure if it's completely slumbering again. It's, it's a lazy volcano. It's just, uh, it goes off when you want to go, go off. And it, it's, it's like, uh, it's nocturnal also. It really likes the nights. And then it's like, uh, it feels like it's more uh, active you know, over the night which is uh, enjoyable because uh, seeing a volcano in the night is quite a unique experience. So uh, that's wonderful. Uh, although Askja is, we, we know that it's going to go off and scientists say it's more than likely that it will. It's always just a question about when will it happen? Will it happen tomorrow, 15 minutes or five years? But the, the land is rising so rapidly. Last time I talked to you, we had like uh, the land that rose like around seven, uh, seven centimeters, but now it's up to nine centimeters. So uh, volcanologists, they are pretty uh, like uh, sure that this will go off sooner than later. So. Uh, also, uh, here is like a groundbreaking news for Icelanders at least. There is like uh, the, the US is opening its borders and it will, will open hopefully in November. We're not sure if that's going to be the case though. Uh, Joe Biden, the president of the US, is going to, uh, they, they expect him to announce everything about this now in uh, next Monday. And if he will, it will be very, very uh, interesting to see it because. This means a lot for Icelanders, Icelandic travel and everything. And therefore, it means that uh, our like, tourism, uh, not only the American tourism, but our tourism, as well as like, European tourism, could actually start going, going back up. And of course, like you know, Iceland is, of course, uh, like in smack middle between Europe and North America. So we are, our, our, our location is very convenient in, in many ways. Uh, and in the end, I have to tell you about this. Wally the Walrus, the Wally the Walrus, uh, he is uh, now at Höp in Hopnafirði. Uh, it's, a, it's a small, wonderful town, uh, like deep in the south. Uh, it's very close to glacier, uh, Vatnajökull glacier. Uh, and many people that know Iceland have been there. And it's an it's, it's absolutely wonderful town. Uh, Valli, which is a walrus, he appeared on the, on the pier uh, the other day, and he was just lying there like, like nothing. I, I have a photo, and, and Art is going to show you that photo uh, right now, uh, hopefully. <laughs> uh, and that uh, this animal is, of course, I mean, we don't know much about it, but he's just laying there. But there was a development in the story the other day where uh, uh, the, the seal rescue in Ireland was claiming that this walrus was actually the walrus that was also there in Ireland called Valli, uh, or Wally. Uh, we have an Icelandic version of that. Uh, so uh, they think they know it because he has like, uh, like uh, wounds at his flippers that they can recognize him from. Uh, and, uh, and, but right now, Valli is basically just, uh, he's just laying there. The kids are giving him fish and just taking pictures of him or trying to get quite uh, close to him. So close, actually, that the, the government, in, uh, like the, the town council in, in, in Hopn Hopnafiri, they had to put up like a rope so people wouldn't go too close to him because, well, it's a war rust. They are more dangerous than you think, actually. So, so it goes. Uh, that's all for our uh, newscast today. Uh, we're going to try to go to the volcano next time. But the last news, perhaps, is that we have uh, like a new storm season. We always get this, uh, but it's not perhaps uh, this uh, early in the, in the fall. Uh, but as you can see outside here, perhaps, I don't know if it's just black or not, but I can't even start here. <laughs> it's like uh, it's, it's a crazy weather outside. It's an orange uh, warning. Uh, we have yellow, orange, and just red warning. The red is basically just don't stay the hell inside. Uh, orange is uh, basically like y there is a possibility that you could die in this weather. So uh, keep in mind, especially if you're traveling in Iceland, the weather is particularly bad right now. And 
And we often have this weather uh, in the beginning of the winter. It's, uh, and just to remind us, like, who's in charge here? It's, it's the wind in the end of the day, <laughs> and the weather, and so it goes. So uh, we will try to go to the volcano, but weather is a factor. Uh, in the end, of course, uh, I want you yeah, just remember our walking tours. You can actually go in, into our description. You can find the walking tour. You can uh, uh, book it uh, whenever you're coming. And just please do, because we want to meet you if you come to Iceland. And uh, yeah, and also it's, it's wonderful to meet Polly. We, we throw as much as we can for her. And you're actually doing me a favor because she can run for 30 kilometers per day. So uh, the more you throw, the less I have to. <laughs> so that's how it goes. See you later. We do this. Ah.